Using the ray diagram of a system of two lenses of focal length f1 and f2 in contact with each other, show that the lens two lens system can be regarded as equal to a single lens of focal length f, where 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. Also, write the relation for the equivalent power of the lens combination. B. Determine the position of the image forward by the lens combination given in the figure. Okay. We'll see the first diagram for the first one. See, this is the combinations of two lenses. So here the two lenses, that is F1 and F2 are placed here. F1 and F2 are placed here. For the, from the point O, the light ray will fall like this and it will be reflected over here. Okay. And for the second one also will be reflected in this direction. Then we need to uh, we need to find the two lens system can be regarded as equivalent to a single lens of focal length f. Okay, when we need to find that. Okay. So for that one for lens A, for lens A, we know that one upon f1 z equal to 1 by v1 minus 1 by u for lens B for lens B 1 upon F2 is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by V1 then by adding these two that is A plus B I am getting 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2 is equal to 1 by V1 minus 1 by U plus 1 by B minus 1 by V1. 1 by V1 plus and minus it will get cancelled. Then I am getting the result. 1 upon F1 plus 1 upon F2 is equal to 1 by V minus 1 by U which is equal to F1 right as 1 by F. Then for equally the power is equal to we can write as P is equal to P2 plus P2 is the equivalent power. Coming to the part B here, determine the position of the image forward by the lens combination given in the figure. Okay. This figure, if we are going to take here, this is a 10 centimeter, this is 20 and 30 and this is 30 centimeter, 5 on 10 centimeter here. Then, Image formed by the lens of F is equal to 10 cm, that is plus 10 cm, that is equal to plus 10 cm. Then we know that 1 upon V1 minus 1 upon U1 is equal to 1 upon F1. Then 1 by V1 minus 1 by 30 is equal to 1 by 10. Therefore, V1 is equal to 15 centimeter. Then, this image formed by the lens act as the object of concave lens. Therefore, U2 is equal to 15 minus 5. That is equal to 10 centimeter. Then, 1 upon F2 is equal to plus 1 upon V2 is equal to 1 upon U2. Then, substitute the values. 1 upon minus 10 is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon 10. Then we get V is equal to infinite value. Okay. Therefore, virtual image forms at right of concave lens at V is equal to infinity and acts as convex lens F is equal to plus 30 centimeter. 
Therefore, u2 is equal to u2 is equal to 15 minus 5 is equal to 10 centimeter. Then, 1 upon v3 is equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 upon f3. We get the value 1 upon v3 is equal to 1 by infinity is equal to 1 upon 30. Then v3 is equal to 30 centimeter. Explain using the suitable diagram. How unpolarized light gets linearly polarized by scattering? First part, first part of the question. See, okay. See the diagram here. So the diagram. See, this is the uh, diagram where the sun rays is uh, falls on the uh, water droplet scattered particle. Okay, it's a rays one, two, three, four. It is always always perpendicular to the sun rays. Things are bits of perpendicular to the When this falls out the water bubble, all this water bubble, then scattered polarized will be perpendicular to the observer. Okay, this is the observer. So, in this way, the incident is that unpolarized rates will be when it is a false and scattered, then it is polarized like this. The observer. Okay, we'll see this one like. When light encounters the molecule of the atmosphere, the electrons in molecules acquire components of motion under the influence of electric field. Changes accelerated parallel to the double arcs do not radiate energy towards the observer. Since their acceleration has no transverse component, the radiation scattered by the molecules are thus polarized light. Okay. The part B. Describe briefly the variation of intensity of transmitted light when a polarized shield kept between two crosses the polarized is rotated. Draw the graph depicting the variation of intensity with an angle of rotation. How many maxima and minima will be observed when theta varies from 0 to 5? Okay. Now, suppose that I not be the intensity of polarized light after passing through the polarized P1. Therefore, the intensity of polarized light after passing through the P2 will I is equal to I not cos square theta. Since the polarized P1 and P2 are crossed, the angle between their passes axis will be 90 minus theta. Therefore, we know that I is equal to I not cos square theta into into cos square of 19 minus theta then this becomes i dot cos square theta into cos of 90 minus times sin square theta okay then i is equal to I naught by 4 into sine square 2 theta. Sine square 2 theta. Then, first one, when theta is equal to 0, when theta is equal to 0, then I is equal to, I is equal to I naught by 4 times sine square sine square 2 to 0 the whole world becomes 0 value then when theta is equal to pi by 4 when theta is equal to pi by 4 then if the value is i is equal to i naught by 4 times sine square sine square 2 pi by 2. Then this value becomes i naught by 
4 is the answer. Then, when third one, when uh, theta is equal to pi by 2, when theta is pi by 2, then i is equal to i naught by 4 times sin square 2 pi by 2. Then, this uh, i value becomes 0. Okay. Then, when theta is equal to 3 pi by 4, that is in the fourth case, when theta is equal to 3 pi by 4, then i is equal to i naught by 4 into sin square 2 pi by 2. Then I is equal to C. And when theta is equal to N, theta is equal to N, then I is equal to I naught by 4 times sine 3 pi. Then this value is I is equal to 0. Now, I naught by 4 or I naught by 5, I naught by H, you will see the maxima and minima tag. So here, when I naught by 4 or I naught by H, then 0, this is the pi by 4 value, then 0, pi by 2 is 0, then maximum is 3 pi by 4 is maximum, and uh, at pi value, it then equals 0 value. That means, we can say that, Two maxima and two minima with occur. When light is unpolarized, 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 that the maximum intensity is I naught by H. When it is polarized, when it is polarized, and the maximum intensity is I naught by four. That's it.